Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. Hi there. I want to show you now how I set my stylus rake angle for 92 degrees. Now why should it be set for 92 degrees? Uh, you can go on to the Analog Planet website and look up setting stylus rake angle with a microscope, which is what I'm doing, and you can download a, a very interesting and very informative article that was published in Audio Magazine in the early 80s about this subject. But at any rate, this is the microscope I use. It's a DinoLite AMT313T. I'm not sure it's manufactured anymore, but there are other ones that are similar. And I have it set for uh, about 200 or 220 uh, times magnification. And uh, I use a CD, it's very useful on the platter, to move the arm back and forth. You'll be able to slide it back and forth to find focus and get this in focus. And believe me, this takes a long, long time to get. It's a pain in the neck to do, but once you get it done, and I put a piece of paper behind it and set the light just so, so that when I have this done, I get this. And what you're seeing there is a photograph. It snaps a picture of what you just saw up there. That's the stylus on the surface of the CD. And now I'm going to show you. I have a three-point angle, and I'm going to measure. So what I do is first I measure the front <coughs> surface of the stylus. And you can see up here, you can see a close-up of it so you can get it exact. And, and then I go across here, and try to get it as level as I can. And I have 49.24 degrees. So I go over here to my calculator and I start with 180 degrees. I subtract 49.24. 24 that equals 130.8 then I clear this and I measure the back making sure to get it right in the center I go up here to, to get it exact and then I go across And try to get it as parallel as I can. Again, you'll have to do this a few times to get it exact. And I measure 58.12. So then I add 58.12 to this side. And I get 188.92 divided by 2 is 94.46. So I want to do this a few times before uh, I make, to make sure that I've, I'm measuring it correctly. It's about 94, that's about 2 degrees higher than I wanted. Now I've started out with the arm parallel to the record surface. That's the best way to start. And I have to move it down a few millimeters. I actually have to move it over four millimeters. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna take another picture, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've taken uh, I've moved the back of the arm down. I've taken another picture, and now I'm gonna measure first the front face of the stylus, making sure I've got it in the center. And I got. 53.6 so I start with 180 minus 53.16 equals 126.84 and I clear everything now I'm gonna do the front the back I mean 
and I'm get it as even as I can. And I get 61.09 plus 61.09 equals 187.93 divided by 2 equals 93.9. So we're much, much closer now. At any rate, I'm going to keep adjusting this and remeasuring till I get approximately 92. It doesn't have to be exact because uh, it all depends upon the way the record was originally cut. It's approximately 92. It could be any place from 92 to 94 when these when you're when the stylus that cuts your your record cuts the lacquer is cutting it and so I'm pretty good with 93 and then I'll do it by ear from here on